What is going on, everyone? And welcome back to another tier list. Yes, we're wearing the same shirt. This is a fat recording session. Allow us. Yeah, okay. we don't stink. Well, Chris does, but... Bollocks, mate. You don't even shower, so... I had a shower this morning. One shower in the last week. No, that's that's that's, that's defamation, mate. I'm going to sue you. Okay. Well, today we have got um, <laughs> a, a tier list. We, we love tier yep. lists on this channel, don't we? Um, tier lists and the quizzes is because we're unoriginal and can't think of new ideas. Pretty much. And we just need to fill the void in between all the sexy interviews we do. Yeah, um, of So, first off, mate, it's, it's managers, isn't it? Yeah. We love managers. We are managers. We are football managers uh, coming soon. No spoilers. <laughs> um, I, I mean, I don't know when it's... It could be out already. Who knows? Um, but no spoilers. Um, but anyway, Zinedine Zidane! I'd say stick him in world class. Has he proven it over a long enough time? Three Champions Leagues in a row, that's all you need to say, really. It's unprecedented, so... Do I think he is? Particularly, no. And doing the job this season with Real Madrid as well, considering the... I think the if score. he manages to win another one with this squad, then yes, I think he, he, he goes there. But. I think a couple more pieces to the puzzle and then he'll definitely have the challenging. Um, anyways, on to the next man down. Now, um, Interesting one, this guy, because he's been successful. You've, you've got to judge him across... His whole career so his far. Whole career. Um, Not just his stint as England manager. AC Milan was unbelievable. Yeah. Um, um, I think, was he at Juventus as well? He was at Real Madrid. He was at Real Madrid. He did an okay job there as well. Um, but he's like managed like Russia and Greece. I don't know if he's still even going. Like, I don't. He might be. He is currently inactive. Decent. His I last think. job was at Jiangsu Sunny. I think decent. I don't think you can put him above that purely because. <sighs> Just going to quickly look at his honours as a coach. So he won the Serie A four times in Milan, and the Champions. League. I don't know whether you can put Z he can you can put Zidane above him though. I don't know, because he's had a bit of a stinky ending to his career. He's not won a, to a title since uh, 2006, which was revoked because of the Calciopoli scandal. Um, so, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, his, longev his longevity has mirrored him a little bit. But then, what you could also say is he could be put in distinctly average looking at some of the managers on here. Yeah, very true. I'm putting him in distinctly average, mate. I know how much it. you hate this next guy, but... Oh, he's a prick, though. He is a prick. He's, su he's such a good coach, though. He's such a good coach. Oh, what's he won? He's won one La Liga. Good job, mate. Yeah, but you got to consider the team that he's taken over. He, he turned Atletico from a very average side into contenders for a lot of things. I don't and think... That, and that La Liga win was bloody impressive. He did that against, you know, Barcelona and Real Madrid. That's no easy feat. Yeah, but he's a prick. He is a prick. I agree with you. I don't like him either, but yeah. I think he's decent. I wouldn't put him above. Because, in fact, I'm screwing it. I'm bringing Zidane down. What a bastard. I'm doing it purely because, actually, no, I can't. I can't. He's won three Champions Leagues. Oh, this is screwing with my head, mate. It really is. I mean, I think Simeone is it. It's right at the top of decent or into world class, probably. I'd put him in world class simply because of what he has achieved as mental. Uh, yeah, he's at the bottom of world class though, purely because of what he could achieve in the future. Uh, Pep Guardiola, as much as I hate the man, he's in god tier, isn't he? Really? <laughs> uh, yeah, not not much discussion needs to be had there. Jurgen, I'd say, is uh, either top of world class or somewhere in god tier. I don't think he's done quite enough to end up in god tier yet. Yet. I think you could say a very similar thing about Klopp at. Dortmund that you could with a Simeone at Atletico. Um, yeah, and then, and then And then he's gone on to another level. Maybe not in terms of trophies as yet. Obviously, he's won the Champions League, got to a Champions League final, and going to win the Premier League with a team that was eighth when he came in. Yeah. So it's been a much quicker turnaround. So I think he, will, he won't be quite up here yet. Like, but he will he be, will be eventually. I definitely will be eventually. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mark Hughes. Kicked into a volcano. No, mate, because that place is reserved. You can't, you can't put him in distinctly average next to, like, Capello who's won a Champions League. He'd definitely get kicked into a volcano. Yeah. 
<laughs> Here we That's go. very true. Very true. Okay. Who's this bloke? I'm not actually sure. <laughs> Kick him into the volcano. <laughs> no, because that, that could be severely disrespectful. Um, oh, I don't know. <laughs> Is it Hitzfeld? It looks like him, but I'm not sure. I can't tell. That image is very small. Um, let me let me have a Google. I think it is Hitzfeld. Images. No, it's not. It's not, not Hitzfeld. Hitzfeld has a forehead of hair. Who are you, mysterious man? It's going to re reveal yourself. Um. Just kick him in the volcano, fam. No, mate, I don't want to kick him in there because he could be a warrant. Let's put him in distinctly average because we don't know that's in the middle. Um, Maurizio. Maurizio Decent. Maybe distinctly Put Sari above Capello. Maybe distinctly average then. I don't know. It's a hard one. Move Capello up to decent. Uh, I feel bad. Feels bad, man. Uh, Brian Clough, I think, is god tier. He won yeah, two, cha two Champions Leagues with, uh, with Nottingham Forest. Like... No one will ever emulate that achievement, I don't think. Big Sam. <laughs> kick, kick him into Mount Suvius. <laughs> what a beast. I love him. Uh, Arsene Wenger, this is a tough one. He's, he's between these two for me. I think he's probably going to go into God tier because of what he did for English football. He kind of revolutionised English football. Um, so did Big Sam. Yeah, in the worst possible way. <laughs> Big um, Sam was the first manager to bring in sports science. Yeah, but what's, what's, what's he really achieved outside of that? Yeah, I'd say Wenger's probably got... I'd say currently, based on his whole legacy, he's probably sitting just above club. Yeah, I'd say so. Yeah, God. Yeah. God. No question about it. Love the man. Changed everything. Um... Brandon, Brandon, beautiful human being with great character. I actually think he sits in distinctly average. Great intensity. Oh, definitely. He's, he's shite. In Nothing comparison special. to these lot, he hasn't won anything apart from Scottish Premier League titles. Yeah, um, and yeah, he's doing a cracking job at Leicester, but yeah, distinctly average. Yeah, Johan Cruyff is definitely God Toyer. God Toyer, yeah. God Toyer, yeah. God Toyer. Yeah. God -tier. Um, probably above Wenger. Yeah, I'd say so with that Ajax 94. And course dream team at Barcelona. Mm. Uh, Rafa. Rafa Benitez. Uh, decent, I'd say decent. Stinky end to his career so far. Well, not end oh, to his nah. career. He did, he did, he did, he did a good job at Newcastle. So, yeah, but it's Newcastle. Who cares? Well, um, it, props to him for actually taking that job because not a lot of world-class managers would do that. Was he world-class at the time he took the job, though? In comparison to Newcastle, yeah, 100%. Yeah, that's in comparison to Newcastle, though. I, I still think he's a manager who just managed Real Madrid. Yes, he didn't do amazingly well, but like... Greg's is god-tier food if he's a freaking, like, world-class <laughs> manager at the time. He, he took over Newcastle. Yeah, he, he's still good. Like, he was still a he, very good manager. No, nah, he, he stumped the joint up at Inter Milan, stumped the joint up at Real Madrid as well. He did an excellent... He's, well, the, those two jobs were just too big for him. Like... You gotta recognise that, like, his best job is the underachiever, the or the overachiever. Sorry, um, big clubs in countries where they're not particularly fighting. So he did so amazing work with Napoli. Uh, he built what they are now, I believe. Um, he also did really good stuff with um, with Liverpool. So you know, and Valencia, of course, he won La Liga yeah, with Valencia. Valencia yeah. So you did, yeah. You, Early doors. Early doors, he was very good, but he's, he's stunk the joint up since. Um, Eddie Howe uh, is, is Volcano In a Volcano, bound. mate. I, I hate this guy. Do you? He's so overrated, man. He's so overrated. Yeah, he's a nice bloke. I don't give a shit if he's a nice bloke. Most of these guys are probably nice blokes. Doesn't mean that they're good. Ernesto Valverde, interesting one. Um, he won... He, last year, he could have done a, an unprecedented double. But he he stunk the joint up in the in the Champions League, but he did win La Liga pretty convincingly in all of the seasons he was there, and did pretty good with uh, Athletic Bilbao. Don't really care about his stint in Greece. Um, yeah, maybe yeah, just top of distinctly average. Yeah. <laughs> Looking back at where we first met. 
this and guy I is overrated as shit. Um, I'd kick, like... kick, kick him into a volcano. Hmm. Top. I hate... I... That that England 2018 run infuriates me just because of how overrated it is. I don't, I don't care. It, I don't think it was... It was just a really good time, like... Everyone was getting whammoed in the garden, you know. It, it was a good time because England overachieved what they were expected to achieve because they're shit. Exactly. <laughs> Why people glorify that, I don't know. Anyway, onwards. Pochettino. Onwards and upwards. Onwards and upwards. Pochettino. Um, Pochettino. I'd say world class in my, in my eyes. You put him above Benitez. I'd never put him above Benitez. A man who's won a Champions League. Yeah. Oh, not a chance for me. Not a chance. I think, he's, I think he's definitely up there. Not a chance. The man, what the man he's has done, a what he's to, Yeah, but what he's done for Spurs is mental. Yeah, but what um, Eddie Howe's done for Bournemouth is unbelievable. He's gone from League 2 to the Bram. Like, but he hasn't won anything, yeah. has he? And, and he's probably about to send them straight back down to, to the Champions Well, not straight back down. He's been there for four years. Uh, yeah, they're going to go back down. Watch. And they yeah. won't come back up. I just don't think he's above Benitez, personally. I don't think you can. Or Capello, actually. Until he wins a trophy of some sort. He just he will, he will in his next stint, wherever he goes. He just breeds bottle jobs, though, doesn't he? Like When, when, when he... Uh, yeah, but to be fair, it comes down to the players as well. It's not just the coach. It's the, the players do need to step it up. And plus, let's admit it, Harry Kane's one of the biggest big game bottlers that there is going. Yeah. Uh, I, just re- I, I can't put him above Benitez. Like... With what he's won, I don't think his his legacy is far more than Pochettino's is. As it stands, yeah, sure. As it stands but at the I... moment, yeah. He has certainly uh, has the potential to get up here, but he's there now. I think. Yeah, well, we'll leave him there. For Go he he's a I good mean, standing man, just distinctly average in here, really. Yeah, he's done. He did. He did a great job at Chelsea twice. Yeah, no, for sure. For Absolutely sure. legend. Jose. Jose Mourinho's he's got to go gold too, hasn't he? Really, he's achieved some mental shit. Uh, top three, you know, he's a top three coach of all time in my eyes. Yeah, he, he's a wonderful, wonderful manager. As um, much of a, as much as he is, you know, a bell end. Yeah. <laughs> um, Roberto Mancini, a decent manager. Decent. Very decent manager. One the prime, obviously with City. Yeah. Um, loads of stuff. And now he's Italy manager. He's doing it. He's doing a decent job there. So I think he's mm-hmm. decent. Decent. Yeah, decent. Pardiola. Oh, Kick the man into the volcano. <laughs> Mount dying. Etna. You're you're going into Mount Etna, fam. You're out of here. You're done. Big, big pods. Big pods. Uh, Allegri. Hmm. Decent. Yeah, I think so. I think so. You, when you take over Juventus and winning Scudetto, like it's not. A bigger achievement anymore. Yeah, he did a decent job at AC Milan as well. Yeah, I don't know. Conte, Antonio. good coach, man. Good coach. I'd probably <sighs> argue he's in the top of decent for me. Maybe even world class. It's between those two for me. Like his Chelsea when they won the league was so good. Yeah, that like tenth to top like that. And he took you Juve to an, an Invincibles title. Like, yeah, exactly. shit all you want on Serie A. But well, yeah, but, but back then, but back then it was harder. Like, it wasn't as Juventus dominated yeah, as it absolutely. is now. So I think so. Um, trolley, Oli, is going into the volcano, mate. Yeah, I'm not going to dispute that. In you go, lad. Sorry, mate. Um, you need to be uh, not shit to get out of the volcano. Um, Claudio... Nah, this guy again. He's not a volcano boy. He's not volcano. He, do, he, he did a job, you know. He did a quit, you know, made a fantastic achievement at Leicester, but he is overrated because um, everywhere else in his career, he's been an absolute failure. Not Chelsea. He did a good job, good job at Chelsea. Yeah, all right, but generally speaking, his most of his career has failed. So yeah, distinctly average. Yeah. Uh, why? Now I don't know whether you can kick Roy into the volcano. No, he's doing an alright job at Palace right now. And to be uh, fair, he did a wonderful job with um, Fulham. Got them from relegation yeah. to a Europa League it's final. It's just that very, very stinky England tenure. Yeah. And that's quite hard to ignore when you get dicked out of the Euros by Iceland. Sorry, merchants. 
distinctly average, mate. Yeah. Bobby Robson. Now, he's up there between these two for me. Yeah, for sure. It's just a case of which one. Yeah. Top of I, world class, maybe? I think so. I think so. I think he just didn't really push that extra mile that he could have done if he hadn't have been Newcastle manager. Yeah. Sure. We're going to piss off a lot of Newcastle fans if they're watching. Well, they're probably not, <laughs> so it's fine. Um, Matt Busby, I think he's got tier. God tier, definitely. Defo God tier, mate, to be honest. Um, those three there are probably the best. And Jock Steen and Fergie. Yeah. Like the old the old timers. Bob Paisley as well. Um, Moise. <laughs> Distinctly average, maybe even a volcano tier, man. Hmm. Average. I, Everton, his Everton job was too good for the for, for Volcano. Yeah, the rest of his career, don't don't think so. Yeah. Santos. I um, actually quite like this guy. I think he's done a very good job at Portugal, so I'm gonna put him in decent. I think. And he did well with um with Greece going into the last sixteen. Yeah, exactly, man. He's a good coach, man. I put him... And to manage internationally is very, very Not difficult easy. to do. Yeah, so, so stick him up there. Oh, <laughs> Chandra. Harry, Harry, uh, Wheeler Dealer. Um, I think he's probably the back end of decent. To be honest, but he's done some bad shit in his career. But he's also put QPR into financial trouble, Birmingham into financial trouble. <laughs> yeah, but to be fair, neither of those clubs really mean anything. So it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Southampton into financial trouble as well. <laughs> Sorry, Dunford, but <laughs> sorry, Tanzel lad. Um, I don't think he's decent. You can't put him above Valverde. Yeah, you can't put Brenda up above Sarri and Valverde. No I way. just like the man. King of the jungle. Love the man. And Fergie. Top of God tier for me. Yeah, I think so. Greatest of all time. At the moment, definitely. Uh, it would take a lot to dislodge him I from that. I don't see that changing anytime soon. Um... Carlo Ancelotti is definitely world class. Don Carlo is. Just, do you put him above Simeone and Conte? Do you put him? Yeah, I'd put him above Simeone and Conte. I love Don Carlo, even though he manages Everton. Like, yeah, he's done some great stuff in his career. He's an absolute legend. Luis Enrique, world class for me as well, man. What his I mean, his uh, treble winning Barca side was just insane. What, what's he uh, done since? Has he done anything? He's now uh, manager of the Spanish uh, Spanish national team. Uh, had to step away, obviously, because his daughter passed away from cancer mm. uh, for a bit. Um, but yeah, he's a great coach, man. Great coach. Yeah. Uh, I'd probably stick him above Conte in that guard. Because that MSN side was just, just fucking unbelievable. Yeah. Luis Felipe Scolari. The journeyman. Good, journeyman, but very good coach and achieved some good, good stuff in the career. Um, I'm pretty sure he's won the World Cup as well. I'm pretty sure he has. I'm gonna go. I just don't. I can't put him above Scolari. Above Scolari, he is Scolari. Above Valverde. No, I could. He's, he's achieved way more than Valverde has. Top of distinctly average. No, I think he's higher than that, but he's achieved some pretty important, impressive stuff in his career. I just can't respect the man who travels around that much, to be honest. Yeah, he's travelled around a hell of a lot, but I mean, there's some other guys in there who've travelled around a hell of a lot. I mean, Carlo's travelled around a lot. Yeah, but he's at least, at least he spent a little bit of time, like not like a year. Just... But the man won the World Cup, fam. He did. Decent. Decent. And, and his Euros went around. I'd Goody. put him above Rafa as well. Good evening. Distinctly average. What have you really done? I mean, yeah, I know you won the three three Europa League. That's a very tainted thing, though. I think because you have to, to win three Europa Leagues in a row, you have to go out of the Champions League, Champions League yeah, group stage twice. I can see what you're saying. I can see what you're saying. Like it's a great achievement. Don't get me wrong, but it's sort of like the plate. Like, did you ever yeah. do like interform? things at school like if you lost in the first yeah, round yeah, you went sure. into a plate that's sort of what Emery's won every time he's won the plate yeah he's he's alright Louis van Gaal's a good coach man. Louis van Gaal's army where should like well like... the Champions League did well at Ajax uh, Barcelona I think as well um, a, um... let's double check his honours well won the Champions League with Ajax so that was pretty impressive 
Yeah, I don't know why I thought Croy did that. Muppet. Um, I'd say you could probably stick him at the bottom end of God tier, top of world class. I think he's he's done some pretty impressive. You stuff put him like above that. Carlo. Yeah, I would. Touch and go. Yeah, I rate it. And finally, bottom of the bottom pile. You put him below Pardew. I would. I put him below everybody. It's shit. Wait, wait, wait. Tell you what. Wait there. Um. He can have his own bloody tier. Okay, so this can be awful. <laughs> and that's where you belong, my mate. <laughs> I don't dislike dislike you, Sean. Don't come kill me. <laughs> but anyway, I will say it to his face. <laughs> no, you won't. He's six foot five, <laughs> and you're five foot six. He's literally the mirror of your height. I'll have him. I'll have him. <laughs> but anyway, that's the end of another fantastic tier list. Thank you much, Haskarine, for joining me. Mm. <laughs> Thanks, mm. mate. Thanks for the enthusiasm. Um, <laughs> and we will see you on the next video. Ta-da.